We can use this lava lamp to show how convection in the atmosphere works. So as a bubble of hot air begins to rise off the Earth's surface, it is allowed to rise as long as it remains warmer than the surrounding atmosphere. Now in my lava lamp, that's a fluid, but that isn't really important because air is also a fluid, really. So as that bubble of hot air begins to rise in the atmosphere, it can rise as long as it stays warmer than the surrounding air. But the interesting thing in the lava lamp is, as it gets to the level where it is the same temperature as the surrounding fluid, it stops rising and then it will actually hover until it gets colder than the surrounding liquid around it and then it will begin to descend back down or in this case it's actually losing all of its fluid. So this simple lava lamp can show us how the convection process works. Now if this process is allowed to continue unchecked and there's enough moisture and instability, that can lead to thunderstorm activity.